So hi guys, uh, Andy over here, and uh, today we have the RTX 1490 from Palit. This is the Game Rock uh, model, and uh, we'll just start off with like just a plain old unboxing. We remove the clear tip. So this is my first time opening it too and uh, kind of excited because this would be like one of the most expensive stuff I'm unboxing on the I don't know channel or the video or even at the shop so throw that to the side and uh, yeah so this is how the box looks like has like just a nice kind of printed matte finish with the reflective uh, polythene and uh, i don't really want to go much over the specs or something but first thing to note over here card has 24 gb If we go over the top, there is nothing much, so let's just turn it around. And uh, this is how the back of the box looks like. Just printed with the uh, specs of the card and like just random features. One of the things I'm really looking forward to is just this part over here. Just looking at the printed, uh, like looking at the printed material. There's this like the finishing which is supposed to be like diamonds at the top which should light RGB. Kinda excited to see that. So let's just open it up. Box cutter. comes in a plain black box uh, in the inside let's see if we can try and open this up okay inside there is a bit of foam and uh, first we have the card over here and on the side there's a small accessory box with some stuff so we'll just put that aside first and then we'll remove the card okay so we have the card over here and uh, the accessory box that it comes with inside and uh, i'll just start off with the accessory box let's see what it comes with inside So first thing you'll find would be the controversial uh, high volt power connector. Uh, let's just open this up. Uh, this is a connector that everybody is saying is uh, like lighting fires and graphics cards. And uh, this is how it looks. So this is the 12 volt high power power connector. For this particular card we'll need like uh, four 8-pin power connectors, uh, PCI, just to power this card. And uh, I don't know, nothing really looks special about this. So this is the NVIDIA high power uh, cable that uh, everybody has been talking about. Uh, Gamers Nexus was saying that uh, if you don't plug it in proper, that could be the problem. So yeah, that's it on that. So the next thing you'll receive out of the box is this cable over here, uh, which is for connecting the RGB from the graphics card, I think to the motherboard or to some external fans. So the next item in the accessory box would be this. Uh, 
so this i guess this is actually just a gpu support bracket setup it comes with the one two three four five six pieces i guess you just assemble it in like into a pool kind of setup i guess it just joins one two something yeah should be like a pole or something the material is plastic nothing really special about it does not feel premium at all but nisa so this is what we all came here for which should be the graphics card So once you open the card, uh, this is how it looks like. And uh, just right off the top, you could see that you can see that the finish is quite nice. Has a crystal kind of design, and it looks really awesome. It looks like some diamond design which should light up in RGB and uh, I'm actually looking forward to see that. 390 millimeter fans all going the same direction and uh, the build is really solid. Card itself feels heavy, the card feels really heavy. So just to compare the size to what we'd consider normal card here we have the RTX 3060 Ti from Zotac and uh, just looking at it you can see like it's about this should be like around uh, 200 millimeters and uh, this one I'm not even sure maybe 300 and as you can see card is huge like this is a 3060 ti so let's just flip it like this you can compare the size of it like that so this is a two slot card the 3060 ti this one the 1490 the 1490 should be like uh, three and a half slots so it's just thicker and uh, when you go to the back this is how the RTX 3060 Ti looks just check that out I know both the performance cards but this is on another level there's something else you'd think the 3060 Ti is a small card but no this is just big now we can kick off mm, just looking at the card itself let me zoom in a bit on the power side we have just the new 12 volt uh, power connector uh, the high power 12 volt and uh, that should connect to this so the 4 8 pin PCI goes into this on the other end you have 4 8 pin PCI connectors so kind of high powered but yeah there's another cable that came with the card which was for rgb and right beside the power connector you can see over here three pins these are for the rgb which you can connect to like a case fan or to your pc motherboard just to control the rgb from the card or the card software So as Ali noted, uh, the card is a 3.5 slot card, uh, kind of big even for normal size and uh, all this over here is just built to be able to support the PCB 
including this bracket over here which is like just an extra support which goes around the PCB so the cooler has six heat pipes which go through the heat sink uh, all through as you can see over here and uh, it runs all over the card from the back to the front over here So this is how the back of the card looks like. I love this finishing. This is just uh, aluminum. Uh, a bit of G-Force branding again at the back. But this design over here is just to die for. So the back of the card has this kind of perforated design with the brushed aluminum. And also it's been carved out just to give like a really good impressive finish over here I feel like this is one of the highlights of the card let me just look at it the rest of the card looks like that brushed aluminum and uh, game rock logo over there with a bit of uh, GeForce branding So that's the back of the card, uh, just uh, a metal plate running all through, lots of screws holding on to the back plate uh, to give it a bit of extra rigidity. Next we can go to the side of the card. So this is the PCI kind of connector side of the card, nothing much over here. Uh, you can just see the heat pipes running through the card from the front to the back and uh, some few extra screws just to help uh, hold the card together over here so this is the io panel of the card and uh, has one two three display ports and one hdmi as you can see over here like it was allegedly built to be a two slot card but kind of went overboard with the size And uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Hope you enjoyed uh, just this brief unboxing and uh, thanks.